Greetings everyone, welcome to my second tutorial of Mix It Up. In today's video we'll be introducing the triple bar located at the top left and the features available. The chat tab is the default tab where you will begin when Mix It Up is loaded. Under chat you will see the options for the dashboard, the clear chat, the disabled chat, and on the right you will see your viewer list. If you did not turn off the viewer count in the settings, then you will see a display for it at the top right of Mix It Up. By clicking the dashboard icon, a new dashboard window will appear. Adjusting the layout number from 1 to 4, allowing multiple windows to be present at one time. Use the item 1 through 4 to set your dashboard to your liking. You can lock this window by clicking the pin at the top right. Clear chat will allow you to clear the chat completely, while disabled chat will make it so no one can type in chat at all. If you wish to send a message as yourself or as your bot, you can do so by clicking the down arrow at the bottom left, clicking bot or streamer, type in a message, and hitting send. In the channel tab, you can adjust your stream title, the game, as well as the tags you wish to use. Tags are a great way to help get noticed on Switch. Setting these are recommended. Find Channel to Raid is a Raid Assist feature which will allow you to search for people currently online that you follow or a team member playing the same game, use the same language, or are currently featured on Twitch. You will see the list of channels below. The Commands tab comes with over 20 pre-made commands. Each of these will be ready for use when you go live. Use a Discord or website to show these commands so your viewers will know how to use them. You can disable them by selecting the slider icon to the right of the command. Custom commands have extraordinary creative potential. The sky's the limit with these. By selecting the new command, you will be given the option to create a basic chat, sound, or advanced command. The basic command is an easy way to set up short text commands such as a shoutout or a lurk. Simply select who can use the command, the cooldown, the trigger words, no exclamation mark needed, and type the message you would like. If you want the message to be sent as you and not your bot, or as a whisper, select them and then click the floppy drive to save. The basic sound command will allow you to play a specific file located on your PC. Like the basic command, simply fill out the user, the cooldown, the trigger words, and then select the sound file you wish to use and click save. You can adjust the volume or the audio output device. The advanced command may seem a bit overwhelming at first. This feature will allow you to show off your true creative potential. With this feature you can set up anything from minor alerts to full screen effects, I'll get more into this in another video. The special identifiers you'll find on these screens will send you to a wiki page where you can find everything you need to make the command. The wiki link will also be in the description below. The events section is full of presets. Each one is designed and edited like an advanced command. Some of the features include a Discord Live notification, host, raid, subscribe alert. For example, I have one set up to notify my Discord when I go live on Twitch. These will trigger automatically once set up correctly. Timers. These will automatically post a chat when enough time and message have occurred. To make a new timer, click the new command, select the command type you want, edit and save your work. You can change how long it takes or how often by just adjusting the numbers at the very bottom. Action groups. Action groups are a way for you to store a common set of actions together that you want to use across multiple commands. Though I do not personally use this at the moment, you can find more information about this on the wiki page that will be in the description below. Under Users tab, this area will show you every user that has viewed your channel. On the top right you can see the platform they are on, the length of time, the amount of stream currency, their ranks, and if you click the edit button, you can see more detailed information, as well as assign custom commands or intros, or even sounds for the viewers. I do this personally with my VIP. The Currency Rank and Inventory tab will allow you to create currency for the mix up bot. This can be used for stream commands, actions, sounds, whatever you like. Channel Points Have you wanted to add some flair to your channel points? 
Tired of not seeing those notifications when they're redeemed? With channel points, you can add custom alerts for every channel point. Simply add a command, name it exactly like your channel point. Select sound under the action. Press the add button. Set the sound file of your choice. You can get advanced by adding in other components as well. It's really fun to work on these. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I'll have another video soon. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until then, see you next time.